fresh kopak. What does that mean? Now if you go down this, if I carried on straight down here, I could join up with that track that I was thinking of doing. Here we are, there's a Lamb Rover over there and go back across the fields. But this is a type of shortcut this way. There's a couple of cows in there, look, but are the cows out in the other fields? That's what I've got to find out. Um, because I might have to actually go back down there and around. That still doesn't mean there's any of the cows in the fields which I can't see. So this is the farm. You are allowed to walk through it. A couple of little cows sat over there. I don't know if they still got that sheepdog, but that sheepdog, he always used to come and greet me. He would walk me through the farm. Right? He'd walk me through the farm. And then he would stand there until I was out of sight. So I'd come through usually this way. And he would take me, show me the way through. very lucky with the weather, though it's like I said, it's grey, it's blowy, but it's not yet. I don't, I won't care if it rains once I go to Wells. Westmendit Way. Most of them point in this way. Little duck pond there. He might have passed. He might have done. Yeah, he's not greeting me. I think he must have passed. Um. Now we still don't know whether I've got to come back yet because if there's a low big herd of cows in the, these fields up here I should be coming out. Now if you are a person who's worried about cows you want to follow my walks because I talk about them a lot. Right? <sighs> right. Lovely little place this isn't it? A little haven. Might not be the same people that Not run it anymore. Yeah, see, it's got the signs. It's good from that point of view. Gates left open. I don't know if they're supposed to be. And there's the farm. And there was a lovely lady that worked here and her lovely dog. There's a big arrow there, look. Another reason I'm doing these walks is because I'm not getting any younger. Um, I might have so to look I've, somewhere else. And I think, well, if I have to move to another area, I might not be able to come out here so easily. I've got to think ahead. In 10 years' time, I'll be 80. I'm not feeling totally secure or safe either. Over and out. Half oh, Jersey. <coughs> People 
out with the families. We've done it. Unfortunately, there's some people that might start heading my way. Um. So, like I said, I'm not actually doing a lot in the gorge. I won't be climbing down anything, it's too slippery. Um, I normally climb down through the gorge uh, and all that sort of thing. Oh, I've just seen a buzzard there, he's a, or a sparrow hawk. <sighs> right then, so I'm going to be going through this gate in a minute and down, okay? Upper Gorge National Nature Reserve. There it is. On the Mendip Hills. White beam, witch elm, filled maple. <sighs> Loads of geological interest, small caves, remains of the Ice Age mammals. <sighs> There's no sign of those people coming. Maybe they are going to venture a bit further or they're following a map taking them back to Wells another way which I have done by the way I've gone down across that field before now and come into Wells in the back the back way you know I've done a lot of exploring in the past and most of it if I can't remember exactly I have got it on video or a photo um, there's an awful lot of videos that I haven't shared to YouTube or Facebook though Especially those done in the early ones. Um, so, like I said, I'm skirting Epper Gorge today. Uh, I ought to stop and have a look at the time. Because um, sometimes I do like to have a wander around the gorge, you know. But I have got to remember, I've got to walk back to Wells. And uh, I do need to remember that so because I'm not quite sure what the time is I'm going to check it in a minute when I get just down a bit further away from other people I'm going to check the the time we should come down here and there'll be another gate and all that sort of thing right I'm going to turn off now long after two o'clock I'm just going to go to the cliff edge viewing point while I'm here I just will do that because it's not far from the path to take me down to the track I need to take me back to Wookie and Wells. So I thought I'd just well do that. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going down the stream today. It's too slippery. I've got a feeling I'm going down that way in a minute. I'm going to go down that way, yeah. We're going to the cliff edge, gorge viewing point. 
All right, there's a few more coming, but I think they're a bit slow. So they... Yeah, I passed a couple earlier. I think I might have sent them. They asked me. Are they yours? Uh, no, my family's down here. Oh. I gave somebody duck info. Oh, did you? Just looking to see if I'm. Where did you send them? <laughs> right, I didn't stay very long at the gorge. There's some family picnic in there. Oh, I've got loads of photos uh, in better light conditions than I've been worth taking today. There's a family in front of me. I'm a bit sandwiched today. Um, uh, it's about the right time to go start heading for Wales now, though, because it's probably about half past two. I've only got three hours to get there, so it's definitely time to turn back. No, not to turn back. To go down. Gone again. So I've come down a track, which I've only ever gone up, if it's, if it's the right one, that is. Because there is more than one. Um, and in a minute, I should, in theory, join up with the main track of the... Ever Gorge walking system. Uh, normally I walk round it and all that, you know, I just... But not today. Today is basically knowing there's three hours. Maybe three hours and 15 minutes. I'm not quite sure, actually. But I'm videoing a bit of this because I haven't actually done this bit before. And I'm sandwiched between two families. One lot shot off. Uh, and the other lot were eating their sandwiches. I don't know whether they'd have a look at the gorge the other side. Like I said, there are more than one route down. But I presume this is the one that... It's a long time ago, I reckon it is, because all I can remember, it went up and up and up all the time. It's easier going down, but it is slippery. But if you were going up, just imagine you were going up and up and up. And we've got to go through a field. I can hear it. Right then, I've just come through the gate, the stile, and now going through this open plain, which will take me out to the road to Wookie. I've managed to jump over, hopscotch the families that seem to be lost. So they're all looking at their mobiles, trying to find the way out. Because um, one bloke, he said, I don't really know where I am. I've just given people directions. She said, well, I don't really, you've just told me a few things. She said, I didn't know we were here. I said, yeah. There's lots of paths, lots of tracks. I don't know how you, I suppose, maybe they have got those things somewhere where you can use your mobile. You know, you scan one of those little patches. I haven't tried that yet. I haven't tried that yet. This isn't, isn't a quagmire yet. Now you would come out here in November or early spring. And this is you have to walk over there. This is, I've, I've walked up in the up there before now just to uh, avoid the quagmire. All right, so there's no one following me at the moment. That's good because I have got to get back. Um, it could be going on for three o'clock now, so it leaves me two and a half hours. Um, I'm not rushing, but I won't have time for the cathedral. I'm going to have to do the cathedral on a day trip, or I just do wells, I think.
Well, we should, I hope I am on the right track. We should come to a bungalow in a minute. If I look up there, yeah, it looks like the right way. Well, I'm going to turn off now, folks. It's a bit muddy. I need to get my balance. 